things such as Southern charm, beautiful scenery, <laughs> and the Irish influence, which is celebrated every year for the St. Patrick's Day Parade. And one local shop that embraces the Irish Catholic community shares why it is important to pass on their faith and traditions ahead of the holiday. Our Michaela Romero visited the store as they prepared for the big celebration. St. Patrick's Day is around the corner and many businesses are preparing for the big day. I'm here at Saints and Shamrocks and they want to remind the community and visitors the reason for the season. Saints and Shamrocks has been a staple in Savannah for over 30 years. They have a variety of Irish and religious gifts to celebrate their Irish heritage and Catholic faith. Hope Eberwine, the owner of the store, says it's important to remember how it started. Because we had such an influx of Irish immigrants and we were built on the backs of a lot of those immigrants, we celebrate their patron saint, who is St. Patrick. She says many people don't know the true meaning behind the holiday. And St. Patrick was known for bringing Christianity um, to Ireland and he used the shamrock, which is the three-leaf shamrock, and he used it to explain the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. She says St. Patrick's Day is a great time to teach younger generations the significance. And that is why Ronnie Collins and her friend from Columbus drove four hours to pick up gifts for her granddaughters. She says it's her calling to teach them about their roots. Just like I had my grandparents teach me and my parents, and it's been the biggest blessing in my life, and I want to pass that on to them. Everyone says she loves seeing families passing on the traditions. She says she hopes it keeps the Catholic faith and Irish spirit alive for years to come and hopes the gifts serve as reminders. The parade is the end of our celebration. We start with an Irish festival. We have the Celtic cross ceremony. We have the greening of the fountains. There are things that pay deep respect to our Irish ancestors and all that they did for us. And so we take a moment, we pause, and we reflect on um, their story and where did we come from and the roots of our St. Patrick's Day celebration. The owner tells me that the parade will be ending right here on Liberty and Bull Street. She says that they'll be open until 3 p.m. on St. Patrick's Day. In Savannah, Michaela Romero, WTOC. And to see more St. Patrick's Day stories like that one, you can always visit our website. We have tons of information on there right now. Yeah, it's really interesting. Uh, you know, we focus on a lot of different things. And for some folks who, you know, the, the parade is kind of the culmination of everything. And mm -hmm. by, by about 1 o'clock in the afternoon, they're like, and I'm ready to go home and take a nap <laughs> and sleep until the next day. And then there's a whole different group of people where the parade is kind of the kickoff of everything that's yeah. going to happen the rest of tomorrow. And because it's on a Friday, Saturday, Saturday and then maybe even into Sunday. Yeah, Hope's going to be right in the middle of it tomorrow too. That she's at the, right there at the end of the uh, the, parade, the parade route, right by the last reviewing stand. Cool. So anybody looking for some last minute St. Patrick's Day items can bump in there and grab. But I tell you what, I go there more around Christmas time. Really? Yeah, because it's they have such great gift items. Mm. You know, if you're looking for like a little Irish gift for somebody, uh, you know, a family member, something like that. And my children remember going there. Their grandmother took them there, and they were able to pick out a little something for their baptism gift. Oh, that's oh, cool. cool. Yeah, because they do have a lot of a lot of Catholic items in there as well. Yeah. Awesome.